Soft moss all around. Hard to imagine this place once fitted a hand. I should be cautious around here.
You are small to my eyes, stranger. Small in stature, but great in deed. I am the one they call Javi, the High One of Asgard. And I come bearing a great gift. Your name is known to me. But what could mighty Sutunga want that a little thing like you could provide? Your great cauldron, stolen by Hemia's sons. Let this offering be a beginning to the end of our hostilities. Such a small thing, yet so much steeper than it seems. Appearances can be deceiving, can they not? <laughs> well spoken, Harvey. Our people may be enemies, but you have earned your welcome here. Thralls, an honored guest has come. Prepare a feast! I hope also to meet your daughter, Gunlutha. I have heard much of her skill in the mystical arts. She will be toiling at her work, as ever. But be forewarned, she shuns the company of others. I could summon her to the feast, if you like. We might discuss matters of alchemy on the way. That would please me. You will find her in her grotto, up the path, within the circle of stones. Have a care, though. You are safe in my presence, but you wander Utgard at your peril. I will be discreet. And Harvey, be kind. Gunlother is different from you and I. Gunlotha, what is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures. But every father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future. Heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from... in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility, waiting for unknown ears, many ages hence. What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, Prophet? Can you hear me? Perhaps another day. Another thread. Come. We must not keep father waiting. Who are you? Winter's knife cuts deep. Sky pearls fall thick in this land. It, it is cold out here. How can that surprise you? I haven't been outside in... Uh, I don't know how long. You are devoted to your work. 
Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We have long searched for a solution until the burden of it has bent my mind. I do not think as clearly as I once did. I've heard there's one method still untested. There is, but to activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least. And I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all Jotna? We will find another way. We must. This land is quite beautiful. I had all but forgotten. The vault, wherein our greatest discoveries are kept. Such things would do great harm in the hands of evil people. No stone walls will defend us when Ragnarok comes. All we have built here will be swept away. has seeped into its very walls. The wind and snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon, we will knock it down. Indeed, great Sutunga. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Yotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vault, then? No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? <laughs> Harvey fears he will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of meat. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment, enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I'm ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Harvey, I'm called, whose axe is never slaked. 
The blood of my enemies is my meat. Their skulls, my pillow. You brag well. They were ever pleased by violence. Great Yatna, I stand here in awe of your might and majesty. They do not respect weakness. Show some backbone. I offer a toast to Great Sutunga. They do not love me as much as they love to feast. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Let the feast begin! What can I do to get them to drink faster? What is a feast without... We see musicians. Somber souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise that. We are keen, but my harp has been stolen. We Who would steal a songbringer's instrument? There was a group of children playing around us earlier. With I will get your harp back. Thralls. Humans kept in bondage, bred to serve. Such is the fate of the lowly. No guests in the kitchen! Out! They are calling for challengers to face their champion. Abby! Show us your might! Beat our champion, and we will drain our horns in your honor! Bring me this champion, and I... Behold! Do not mock me! I will not... <laughs> if you are too afraid to face... If she is truly your champion... Don't be shy! Place your fists against the champion! Don't be scared of that crumble bones! <laughs> You have fought all... Drink to me then, as you... All of you! They beat the champion? Nobody's ever beaten the... Is there any sweeter music than the clash of drinking horns? Give it to me! I want to go! Get your grubby paws off my harp! My turn! My... That harp does not belong to you. What are you gonna... Why don't you give me a re... All right. You want this harp? Go dive from that me. Climb as high as you can, though. I want a big... Watch and learn. My turn! My turn! Not you two! You break the strings with your sausage fingers! <laughs> Bet they won't do it! How many broken bones, you think? Fifty at least. There. Now get- Umius, hairy balls! That was amazing! Who taught you such language? Mother? Why? The right food will inspire thirst. I should head to the kitchen. Can't be trained. Loki? No, uh, forgive me. I, I thought he was someone else. Too much drink in too little time. The cure for that is sleep. Is that Give it a try. Okay? What's the worst that she can happen? Not Last time I played your game, is half gone. Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings of a wasp. Ah, but can you do it while mead adult? Before each attempt, you must take a drink. 
I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! <laughs> That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Show me those. They take a drink? The mead is half gone. The Nagir's cauldron can't be drained. What's the second worst? Not so easy after supping at the brook of the Chirkap, huh? When you feel ready... Agir, mighty friend to the Asir. Are you not sorry to lose your cauldron? It was never mine by right. Thor won it from Hymir so he might feast in my hall. I only kept it on his behalf, and after that bloody business with Hymir's sons, well... I'd as soon be rid of it. I'll have the end of strife. I'll... And I'll drink to any! Not so easy after supping at the brook of the Chirkap, huh? When you feel ready... Take a drink and try again. Come, give it a try. What's the worst that can happen? The kitchen. Here I might find some way to make the guests thirsty. Hot spices call for a cooling drink. Now how can I use this? No guests in the kitchen! Out! So drunk, I... You look a bit wobbly there! You look a bit wobbly there! Steady eye now. The last one is the hardest. You look a bit wobbly there! Careful! Shot, Harvey. Your hand. Another round? Uh, not for me. My belly royals like a knot of. The cauldron is empty. I should tell Sutanka. Great Sutanka. Your guests thirst for mead, yet the cauldron is dry. Father? Several are unconscious already. Do as I ask, daughter. Give them all they can drink. As you wish. I will... None will say that Sutunga is... None will be capable.
Javi? I, I heard a noise and... I uh, wanted to speak with you away from the others. For me? Fate, Gunlotha. We are helpless to escape it. And we were fated to be here now, together. You and I? How? It makes no sense. The Nordnir spin their patterns, and we can only surrender. We are entwined, spun together. There's perfect sense in that. Your words, your gift, your eyes when you look upon me. You bewilder me, Javi. I do not understand you. Listen and attend. I will show you all you need to know. The strange magic might the ACA evade our doom. Hurricane has promised answers at the well of Mimir. I saw you at the feast, Loki. Small wonder you disguised yourself after all you have done. Someone need the treachery in your heart. Zutungor, show this Aesir how the Jotna deal with thieves. Come, embrace your death! You're not going anywhere, Harvey. Dishonorable trickster! 
too long to suffer one such as you. Your bones will splinter beneath my boots. It was me who took your meat and not Loki. What I do, I do for the safety of the Aesir and Vaniad. You will change countless fates, Harvey, but not your own. We will see. Sorely underestimated the heft of your balls, Oathbreaker. You dare show your face. Oathbreaker, I did to you what you did to my son. This is only fair. And Sutunga, what of him? Don't blame me for your own lack of character. You stole the mead. For the safety of my people, Loki. For Asir, for Vanir, for all of Asgard. But not for Jotnar, not for me. You let the Jotnar into Asgard. So many dead, all so you could smuggle in your son. He was not safe here. They knew what he was and knew what he would become. Just as you do. I swore to you I would not harm him. That is the truth. That is the truth now. But how it will gnaw at you, knowing that to kill my son will undo your doom. Release him, Harvey! Release Fenrir, or I swear, I will kill you, here and now! You are out of favor, Strixer, and you are welcome to try. Why wait till Ragnarok, when you can die now? Gone too far. <laughs> Let's see if you fight as well as you lie. <laughs> when my son is loosed from his bondage, he will ravage all of us. Finished. Curse you, Harvey. Your own distrust has undone you. Now go, and do not show your face again. I cannot be other than who I am. All this was fated. All this will happen again. But you will not be here to see it. Do not be so sure of that. The game is not over. The game is never over! The roots of the world tree that I still feed from the well of Mimir. I am close. Gone. So who knows what mischief. But I will not see him again soon.
The probabilities lead us here. The calculations give us hope. Speaking with someone? Do you have the mead? I do. Must I drink it now? Not yet. For once you drink, your Hugur will take flight and be ever fixed. Drink only when the hour of your death approaches. Then why are we here? When Ragnarok has come and gone, this place will remain. Remain and remember. Wise Mimir, Keeper of the Well, give me your counsel. You who seek immortality may find it within these waters. But there is a price. As always. The mead is not magic alone. It requires the sacred waters of Mimir's well to ferment into its final state. Before you take these waters, you must infuse them with the blood of the Asp. To remember you, it must know you. Surrender a part of yourself to the waters that nourish the world tree. Only then will you have that which you desire. And if I make this sacrifice, what then? While death and ruin rage all around, the world tree will keep you. Your body will die, but your hugur will live on here. In time, you will be born anew, into a new world birthed from the ashes of the old. Do you vouch for this strangeness? I must believe it, for there is one I love dearly who depends upon it. And there is no other way? None. It seems I have no choice. You never did. How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would give all that and more. Sacrifice has been made. Whosoever drinks of the mead, the world tree will remember them. And you? What is your sacrifice? My liberty. Sutungar and Gunlother will not forgive this trespass. They will hunt me now to the edges of the Nine Worlds. What are they to you? We ruled together for a time, a noble triad, as father, mother, and the sacred voice. Six times we tried to blunt the fangs of Ragnarok, and six times we failed. The mead was our seventh. But they feared how it might change the humans for the worse, so they locked it away and banished me from Utgardr. By your efforts, you have returned to me what is mine. The ashes of my husband. He made his own sacrifice for knowledge. With a few changes to this mead, I may undo old sorrows. Do as you will. I've had my fill of this cursed realm. Bright mind, heart's ease. Beloved, I will not fail you again. My work here is done. Now to Asgard to save my people.
Come, settle your mind and tell me what you have seen. Strange things, Valka. I'm learning much and seeing more than my mind can understand. Go on. In Jotunheim, I sought and found a meat of incredible power. It promised me a strange effect. To drink it would deliver me from death. Shield me from the destruction of Ragnarok. By this mead, I hope to live beyond my own death, well into the future. Fascinating. Was that your final vision? They have not ended, not yet. Something compels me to return to Asgard. The elixir is ready when you are. <laughs>